G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. We're heading down to Mally 4x4's new store today. He's only been in there for a couple of weeks, so we're gonna check that out first. Fitting up a snorkel today, we finally got one. We've been looking out for ages, just didn't know exactly what we wanted. Uh, come across the five inch stainless from the guys at Fabwitz. Seen a couple of these that get fitted up. We just had to have one. They just look so good on these cars, in my opinion. Uh, Mrs. loves it too, so that's, uh, that's a tick of approval. Uh, yeah, heading down today to fit her up. It's not gonna be a step-by-step -step, uh, install video. It's more so just quite a big hole's gotta get cut inside of the thing. So it's more so a start, spud, uh, spud stuff that um, uh, I've got a bit of coverage here for the insurance, but <laughs> now hopefully you enjoy it. Something a little bit different for us. Um, I'm keen, let's get down there. All right, here we are down at the new store here. Uh, if you are a Majerus, down here on Eddie Wanda Avenue. Have a look at this shop front. He's outdone himself. That looks awesome. All right, let's go inside and take a peek. What do you reckon, mate? Big. You told me to get it. <laughs> you did the job well. Nah, she's gonna look good once she's on there. You're right. Alright guys, so this is the standard intake out of the Y62. As you can see, after a couple of days mucking around in the mud, it's all full of shit. Just because it lives up in the mud guard. So the best, this is why you fit a snorkel, to move your air from down in your mud guard to up top on your roof.
All right, guys, well, there you have it. Look, I'm not going to lie, that took way longer than it looked in the video. Like I said, it's not an install video. We made it look easy, but there's actually quite a lot to it. A lot of the car has to be get cut out, so definitely make sure that uh, someone installs this that knows what they're doing. The guys at Mallet 4x4 absolutely killed it. We had to do about 60 test fits just to get just to get the hole perfect, so we're stoked with that. Uh, the only thing, the center rubber adapter that goes from the airbox uh, to the snorkel, it's not the best thing in the world. It seals up nice, uh, but that is just a temporary thing from these guys. They actually get one made at the moment that goes from the little rectangle bit on the box into the snorkel. It's from China, so like anything at the moment, it's taken a long time, but by the time you watch this video, they probably got it. So we're absolutely stoked with it. It's come up awesome. As usual, this does not uh, all happen in one take, so make sure you hang around for the uh, for the bloopers. It's always a good fun time with these guys, and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Fuck, that's hot. Melted my skin. Fuck, <laughs> I'll just fuck up real bad. Melt <laughs> <laughs> <Not> me. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. We're heading down to. <laughs> He's only been there for a couple of weeks, so we're gonna have. Uh, ha so with the snorkel on, it pretty much eliminates all of that. So. Plus the five-inch stainless from the guys at Fabwitz. So, um, and. Pretty basic. Uh... G'day, guys! Welcome back to another episode. G'day, guys! Welcome back. It's 281, maybe. 281. 